The Colts finish up their season on the road, looking to at least get back to the 500 mark, which always means a little something. The Jaguars, on the other hand, are currently sitting in the sixth spot in the 2020 draft, which tells you all you need to know about their 2020 season. We've got predictions on the way, but first let's sort through a few stats. The Colts faced one of the worst run defenses in the NFL last week, so they made a point of running the ball. Back will get the first down. Pretty run into Carolina territory. Marlon Mack and the ground game were the focal point of Indy's offensive game plan in Week 16, and the numbers say they should stick to that exact same script this week. The Jaguars are as close to a carbon copy of the Panthers when it comes to their rush defense as it gets, allowing even the Falcons to go for five yards a carry last week, Jacksonville's yards per carry against this year over five. The Jaguars' defense has ultimately struggled across the board, those struggles including how they fared on third down and in the red zone. Their weakness on those fronts happened to be Indy strengths, too. The Colts used their rushing attack to cash in on three of their five red zone trips against Carolina, and they're ranked seventh in red zone TD percentage on the year. Percent hands off to Marlon Mack. He's in there. Touchdown, Marlon Mack. The best way for the Jags to keep that porous D from hurting them is by keeping them off the field, which usually means a heavy workload for Leonard Fournette. But even his solid outing last week didn't help them much in that regard. And in this game, it's Gardner Minshew that actually has a more favorable matchup when it comes to Indy's D. But the Jaguars' passing attack, even with Minshew, hasn't been anything special lately. The straight drop is immediately hit by Grady Jarrett and set. Minshew threw for a TD against Atlanta, wasn't picked, but wasn't really effective throwing the ball overall. Now, his ability to impact this game will depend on which Colts secondary shows up. There's the version we saw last week that came up with three interceptions against rookie Will Greer, and then there's the version we saw the week before, which was a little more representative of how they've played all season, which has not been all that good. So there are some numbers you can use to form your predictions. Let's now see how our experts use them to form theirs. Backing up Naeem Hines, inside is 20, now near side, numbers 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, down the near sideline, has the punter to beat, near side, he's at the 30, he's at the 20, he's gonna go, Naeem Hines, a punt return for a touchdown.